There's another bit of rare bipartisanship in Harrisburg, support from both sides of the aisle on a law to stop lawmakers from running for two offices at the same time. And Dennis Owens is about to bring you something even rarer than that. A politician saying three words, I was wrong. Austin Davis ran for the state house and lieutenant governor in November. Summer Lee ran for the state house and Congress. Perfectly legal to do that, but because they were both successful in both offices, we had that long delay in getting uh, down to the business of governing the Commonwealth uh, this year. Democrats one seat majority at the polls became a one seat minority in people until special elections made them whole and made Mark Rossi a temporary speaker. I think it's only fair to the people of this Commonwealth that if, you, if a candidate decides to run, that their name should only appear once on a ballot. That's what caused the chaos. So Rossi, a Democrat, and Diamond, a Republican, have bills that would ban politicians from seeking two offices in the same election. When I see that how much money that we have to waste on special elections because candidates want to have their name all over the place is ridiculous to me. Rossi confirms he's considering a run for Auditor General next year and says if he jumps into that race, he'll bow out of the state house. I will fix that problem. State Rep Malcolm Kenyatta is running for Auditor General and his House seat at the same time. He's not the first to do it and is unapologetic, saying in a statement, I trust voters to make decisions about who they want to represent them more than I trust insiders in Harrisburg. Let voters vote. As for Diamond, he has twice run for two offices at once. Some say it's hypocritical of him to try and ban the practice now. Actually, I'm the perfect person to offer this bill because I have done this in the past. The, the truth is, Dennis, I was wrong. I should have picked one office to get my name on the ballot for and just focused on that. Similar bills have never moved in the past. We have no reason to think they will move now. But we should note that Philadelphia has had a resign to run law since 1951, which is why so many city council members resigned last year to run for mayor this year. In Harrisburg, Dennis Owens, ABC 27 News.